MCG concert. Most surrounded a city hotel, calling on the material girl to acknowledge their presence. We want the Donna! We want the Donna! The chant of the young devotees outside what was strongly rumoured to be Madonna's hotel. You really think she's here? Well, we saw a few people, sir, last night coming in. We reckon she's here. What do you want to say to Madonna? I want to tell her I love her. She's a legend. She's the best. That's why. Could that be one of Madonna's American bodyguards? Rumour had it Madonna and her entourage had booked out the top two floors of the Grand Hyatt. But the hotel's marketing executive said there was no one by that name registered in the hotel. But what was the man from Warner Music uh, no, doing visiting the hotel? Basically, uh, we're liaising with uh, the tour staff and, uh, and more or less uh, ensuring that their stay is, is as smooth as possible, basically. So, is Madonna here? Uh, she may or may not be. Then suddenly, could it be? it was a false alarm. It was Madonna's van, but just her trainer going out. It seemed this fleeting glimpse of the star on her arrival at Melbourne Airport last night was all we were going to see of her prior to her first concert tonight. <laughs> then, late this afternoon, Madonna was shielded from public gaze as her entourage made an unavoidable outing to the MCG for a pre-concert sound check. And at the big stadium, finally, after hours of waiting, another very quick glimpse of this very elusive star. Meanwhile, here at the MCG, there'd been an overnight transformation ready for the Divas' first performance. Uh, the first trucks rolled in at 9.30 last night, and we had 100 stagehands here, and uh, everything's up, as you can see. The stage just looks magnificent. Maybe this man, the tour coordinator, knows what Madonna is doing with her spare time in Melbourne. You will let us know if you find out, won't you? I will. I'll let you know for sure.